Hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating, and today is the fifth video in my overall video editing tutorial series. And the series is sponsored by Flixier, which is a video editing software where you can use a cloud-based system in order to edit on your computers, right? And so I've gone over some basics and then some more intermediate tools and ways of using it to create video lessons. Today we're talking about the green screen tool for the most part. So how you can use it in your lessons in order to have some really cool and dynamic looking videos for your students. So what's great about the green screen tool is that it doesn't actually have to be a green background in order for this to work on Flix here. Um, but I am going to show you first if there is a green background. So for example here, this is a slide I created on a Keynote. And basically what it does is it animates in my videos. I often say that my channel is about giving teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources, right? I use that phrase a lot. So I created this animated slide that goes over the four words, right? So I just literally create it easily on Keynote so that it's animated in that way. Because that way, rather than having to constantly add the text on Flixier of these four and time them and space them and all that, I can just create this animation and just import it into my videos where it's necessary. And so the background is green because I can use a green screen tool with this. So if I click into it and I go down to effects, you'll see the green screen tool. But what's fantastic is that you can tell it what color are we getting rid of, right? And so you can click here and say, you know what, it's this color. That's the green color that I want to get rid of. And then you click and you start scaling. See, and I got rid of all that green. And so you just kind of, kind of you know, move it around until you have those edges disappear as well, right? Around the purple. So that looks good. Right. And so now the green has disappeared and I can go ahead and, you know, move this and scale it. So it's over here on the side. And so when it plays now, it just has the purple and the words. Right. Rather than the green. So that is one way of using this green screen tool. Actually have some kind of slide, some kind of motion animation that has the green background. Tell it that it's the green you want to get rid of and then just move it around until you have it in the look that you want it to be right um, and so obviously you could if you keep going it basically gets rid of all color um, but you're just going to move it around until you get rid of the edges as you'd like okay so this is one approach actually having a green background so if you have a green screen screen that you use to record videos like behind you when you're sitting it works the same way here but again it doesn't have to be green so my tips for doing it for actually having you on camera is making sure you have a solid color behind you that's not too similar to your skin tone or your clothing okay so for example if you see here this was just me and the wall background it's actually a very very light green but i'm just kind of moving here and trying to get a sense of imagining what's going to be behind me when i use a green screen tool that i'm swimming amongst jellyfish right so that was just me recording myself with a one color background and so what you do is you kind of get a sense of all right well i'm going to go ahead and start let's say here right and then just cut into that and then click in and say all right green screen let's go ahead and get rid of this color right the background and then again i use that green screen tool right and so it has this and as you notice no it's not as sharp you see my shadow behind me right because the color is different and when you keep going it starts getting rid of my skin tone as well because i'm very pale and so i'm matching the background when i have this shadow so if you see here like okay well i'm disappearing you kind of have to move it around and say okay if i if i'm down here right my shadow isn't as noticeable so if I look like here, I'm looking around and I'm doing this, the shadow behind me is also noticeable here, right with my arm. So there's this element of figuring out, okay, you know, how can I use this tool if I have a one color background? So I don't have any dark walls in my house. So this is, I just use like any wall here. Um, and so again, you know, you can do some, you know, wiggling around and as you notice here, that I curated in my first example. This is the same video. So I just moved myself to the end and I have this stock video background, 
right? And so I'm just, you know, not really caring that I have this shadow, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, so to speak. And so to create that, all I did was have this video and then I go ahead and go, you know what, let's get a stock image or a stock video. And so let's say, for example, I say ocean here, right? And so here's the jellyfish one that I used. But I can keep looking around, see, so yeah, these are all above the surface. So let's go ahead, right? And so I have it on the track and I put myself above it. And so now when it plays, right, it has me on top of the stock video, okay? So this is another way of doing that green screen tool without actually having a green background. So again, the reason that I have the shadow, the reason that my face disappears is because I'm, again, too close in color to my background. So you do want to, get to figure out where can you find, if not a green screen background, another color that's really bold that will stand out against what you're wearing and what your skin tone is. So it's easy to when you say, okay, this is the color I want you to delete. It actually just deletes that and you don't have this, this element of having to do too much finagling to get it correct. Right. Um, so what I do like is it doesn't have to be green. Right. It can be the color that you choose. So this is how you would do this green screen tool. Right. It's just like an, I showed in earlier tutorials where you have your video and you place it on top of images or videos in order to get your point across and do whatever kind of, you know, dynamic video creation for your students. So maybe you have slides behind you and you're pointing to the words on the slide. Or again, you have, okay, I'm gonna teach you about, you know, these animals or this process and have it appear behind you. And then you can just, of course, it's more time consuming, but you can figure out, okay, when I point here, that's where that word will be. And I point down here and I just kind of have myself as this element of, all right, look at this part of the screen right now that's behind me or next to me. A couple tips to point out. The first is I realized that if you get further away from the wall, that shadow goes away. So for example here, you'll notice that there's no shadow behind me because I am further away from the wall in this video. So that's one tip to get rid of that is to move up closer to the camera and further away from the wall behind you. Another tip is to wear long sleeves. As you notice here, that's a color that's very different from the background because that will help get your lines clear as well and not actually have your body be, you know, taken away because it's too similar in skin tone in comparison to the back wall. So if you are having that issue, wearing long sleeves is another tip that I have for you to make it easier to use this green screen tool. Now, I do have a full video about creating overlays, but just as a quick preview, because it's still connected to this particular tool, this is the slide that I used to create my animation that I showed earlier in the video. And as you can see, all of my animations that I use my videos, I do this process. But tips for this is you do want to use the solid background color behind the word, again, to make it easier to when you delete the green, that the word stays really easily, as does the color background. So all this is, is as you notice here, I've grouped together the word on top of the rectangular uh, box, right? And so you just curate the box and then you curate the words, put the font that you want, organize it in the order that you want it to be. And then once you do that, you just kind of click the two, the words and the box, and you say group, and now they're one thing. And you can move it and you can see with that yellow part that they're equal in distance. You can move it here and see that they're equal at the front as well. So you have that and you know, okay, this is the order you want. I would recommend making it large. So as you can see here, it's pretty big. And that's great because when I make it smaller, it'll still stay pretty sharp on the screen. So you don't have to make it the size that it will appear on your video. You can make it bigger and then resize it as needed. And so once you have them created, all you're doing is clicking in and saying that you wanna animate them. And so what I did in this case is I just added a build-in to each of the words. So when I say add build-in and I say appear, 
right? They'll just appear on the screen. There are other, are other options depending on how you like the look of it, but that was a bit slow for me. So I just use the appear button. And so you wanna make sure that you have this element of, okay, first you create the words with a solid background color that's very different from the green, and then you group them together as needed, and then you add the animation, and now you have this slide. So all you need to do is go ahead and say, I wanna export it with these three little dots on top here, export, and I export it as a movie. So it's moving, right, those transitions, and not all the slides, just the one in particular that I'm using this time around. And so once I have that, I just say export, and I move it to where I want it to be, Google Drive, right, Dropbox, you know, email, whatever the case works best for you. And so once that's there, you import it easily into Flixier, and then you use the green screen tool. If you want to know more about using Flixier for your video editing, I have the whole playlist linked below. But press like and subscribe if you want to make sure not to miss out on the next video or on any kind of teaching tips video that I have on this channel.